What happens when the eyelids of a dog become inverted and what can be done about it? This is known as entropion and causes squinting, pain and tearing in the eyes of the dog. Unfortunately, surgery is the only solution, but there are different types of surgeries to avert the eyelids of affected dogs. Keep watching this video to find out more. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets and is set in Singapore. This video shows surgical procedures. Viewer discretion is advised. The first case study is about an adopted older chow chow who has severe entropion. In August 2016, the older chow chow with severe entropion, which is painful, tearing and closed eyes, was brought to Topayo Vets. His left eyelid is closed 90%. The upper eyelids have rolled inwards by more than 180 degrees. This picture shows the chow chow with his eyelids unrolled. His right eyelid is closed 80%. This chow chow has faced corneal ulcerations and pus discharge from almost closed painful eyelids for the past three years. A corneal growth or scar tissue is seen in the right eye before surgery. After electrosurgery, the eyelid skin strips have been cut off. Both the skin strips of the upper and lower eyelids have been cut off and the wound is stitched to avert the eyelids. A red corneal growth in the left eye and white scar in the right eye were caused by the inrolling eyelashes for the past three years. The dog was adopted from a website recently and came in for entropion surgery. His eyelid wounds have been stitched. The eyelids of the chow chow are open 100% of day two after the entropion surgery. Following up three years later, in June 2019, the owner is pleased with the outcome and there is no entropion and no painful tearing eyes. The rolling inward of the lid margins towards the eyes were seen and electrosurgery was used to excise four elliptical sections of the skin above and from the affected eyelids, upper and lower, to reverse its inward rolling from three years ago. There is no more excessive tearing, squinting, photosensitivity, rubbing and pawing at the eyes, corneal ulcerations and dark brown pigment formation on the cornea. The second case study is that four eight-week-old Chinese Sharpei puppies have entropion. The owner of the pet shop they were at thought the persistent eye discharge and corneal ulcerations were due to an eye infection and used eye drops without success. They had painful squinting eyes with corneal ulcers but are very young and may die under anesthesia if operated on now. Again, there is entropion in the Sharpe. The upper and lower eyelids roll inwards, causing pain and squinting. The puppy is on the operating table. The Sharpe is given anesthetic gas via a breathing tube and his upper and lower eyelids are rolled outwards. The Sharpe's upper eyelid skin is snipped off and wound stitched. The lower eyelid skin is snipped off. A thin piece of skin near and along the margin of the eyelid is snipped off. The edges of the wounds are stitched with six sutures to avert the eyelid and the eye is currently swollen. The surgery was successful and this is a picture of the Sharpe 20 hours after the surgery to avert the upper and lower eyelids. They had no more eye discharge and their corneal ulcers were healed. For dog owners, especially of Chow Chows and Sharpe's, entropion may be misdiagnosed as eye infections. You should get a vet to carry out an examination and ensure that they do operate on entropion surgery as not all vets do it. Comparing scalpel incision and electrosurgery, both are good methods to excise the excess skin strips. Electrosurgery is the application of a high-frequency electrical current to, in this case, cut tissue. Some vets do not think that electrosurgery is ideal as they claim it causes poor wound healing as compared to scalpel incision, but it is supposed to be more precise in cutting and cause minimal blood loss. Both methods typically have excellent outcomes and there should not be any more pain or discharge in the eyes two weeks after the surgery. For more information, please call our clinic's number or visit our clinic's website at topayovets.com. Thank you.